Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. For what do you give thanks? When you're counting your blessings, what comes to mind? For me, it's usually physical blessings. I'm thankful for family and food. Um, I'm thankful for my home and my health. And it's humbling to admit this, but really that's the same things that I've been thankful for since I was a kid. What I'm thankful for really hasn't grown very much. But today's Psalm encourages some more depth and maturity when it comes to counting our blessings. Psalm 138 starts out with a proclamation of thanks and praise. Let me read it for you. It says, I give thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart before the gods I sing your praise. Notice that the thanks are wholehearted and the praise is before the angels. The heavenly hosts get to witness the praise and the thanks that you give to God. Verses 2 and 4 talk about thankfulness for God's word. God's word has gone out from his mouth and it has been heard by kings and by the lowly. The psalmist is thankful for God's word and God's ways. That's a good reminder for us today. We should be thankful for God's word and the direction that it gives us. You're taking the time right now to listen to the word for the day. So I assume that you highly value the word of God. And that's awesome. Let me share, you, share with you some other verses that might inspire you to add the word to your list when you're counting your blessings. Uh, 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says that all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching and for reproof and for correction and for training in righteousness, that the person of God may be complete and equipped for every good work. This verse inspires me to be thankful because of all God's word can do in my life. It changes me and it helps me to do good. That's something to be thankful for. Um, Romans 15, 4 says, For whatever was written in the former days was written for our instruction that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. And I am thankful that I have hope from God's word. It helps me to endure in my faith and it encourages me to keep on trusting the Lord even through hard times. And of course, then there's Hebrews 4.12. For the word of God is living and active. It's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of the soul and the spirit of joints and marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. God's word is powerful and living and it can show me my true thoughts and my true intentions. It leads me to repentance, even like the reading today from Psalm 138. It reminded me that I need to grow up when it comes to how I give thanks and the things that I'm thankful for. I've got so much to be thankful for. God's word is truly something that we should count as a blessing. It changes our lives, it gives us hope, and it leads us to repentance. Hey, I hope that today's word has inspired you to highly value God's mighty and wonderful word. Read the rest of Psalm 138 to find out some more reasons to count your blessings. And if this video has encouraged you, would you like it, leave a comment, or share it with a friend? And have a great day, Calvary.